Hey guys, what's up? The Big Tooth here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make lung rot epidemic on Space Station 13. And you might be wondering, like, how am I going to do that? Lung rot's not contagious, and I'm going to show you how. And this would be done if you were playing as an antagonist. Keep that in mind. You shouldn't do this if you're playing as non-antag, because this can kill players. Um, because if it goes to notice for too long, and the medic who's playing doesn't know that they need to perform dialysis to get the you know lung rot um, chemicals out of the blood, like subutamol, which is actually what causes the lung rot when it's mixed with miasma. Um, so essentially, is um, there's two ways to go about it, right? And um, the one way is a passive way, and you could I guess ethically get away with this if this was the route you were going. Um, infecting people with floor pills and I'm going to show you how you do that so essentially both routes um, you're gonna to need to kill a monkey um, obviously because you're killing a player will draw attention to you um, so I what I do is typically in some stations areas uh, monkey spawns so you go in there you kill the monkey I do it with a, a fire extinguisher because it does 10 damage and you just you know beat their head in right so the monkey's dead he's producing miasma it's a gated off area so miasma won't spread everywhere and what I do is I turn on this portable air scrubber that I found. And this portable air scrubber will collect the miasma now. And you can see here I now have a current mixture of 27 miasma. I'm going to, you know, let that do its thing and just collect some more miasma. Now I have 39. So that's enough to do um, what I'm wanting to do. So now what we got to do is we're going to march over to the chem lab and we're going to collect um something to perform a mixture in let's see is this the large ones no but it'll do so first we're going to drop in a um sublutamol pill so the sublutamol is um a very important ingredient and you can get this from med lab just from asking the medics and they won't think nothing of it right and then now what we're going to do is we're going to take this beaker and we're going to fill the remainder with miasma. So now you see I have a 20 to 30 um, miasma salutamol. And what I'm going to show you is that you can take this and um, turn this into a pill. And typically when you have more of it, it's better. Um, I'll just turn it into a floor pill, for instance. And what you do is you give it a, a crazy name like Wacky Tacky. Right, and you create um, multiples, and you just you know you take this pill and you go somewhere like the church, for instance, and you drop them. And if he were to take those floor pills, that's on him. What's he doing taking pills that he knows nothing about? <laughs> so now we're going to go back over here to um, the monkey that's producing my asthma. Now the second way of creating a, um epidemic on the station is by taking this monkey, right, and dragging him to a um, highly populated area. And, you know, over time he'll create miasma clouds in that area like that right there. And what you do is people are not always wearing gas masks. So you see now I've been infected with my asthma. And if they stay in that area too long, they run the risk of getting toxicity and all that jazz. But um, what we're gonna look at, you can see here I have 0.82 toxicity. But what we're looking at is we're just collecting my asthma in the blood right now. So just being exposed to my asthma puts it in your system, right? It goes, it's airborne, you breathe it in. So now that I've you know, inhaled a lot of my asthma. Um, say that I was a, a player uh, and I was playing as an antagonist and pretend that I was um, just a random civilian, you know. I just got exposed to, you know, my asthma. As the antagonist, I would run up to you and just stick you with salutamol with a, an auto injector. And there's no wait time to, you know, stab somebody with salutamol. They're just infected with it. And that's it. So now this person is going to go to the medic and be like, hey, what happened to me? And the medic's not going to see nothing. Right? He's not going to see nothing at all. He's not going to know what happened to you. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, run around for a bit. And I'm going to give you an idea, right? So it's 5.03 right now in the video. And we're just going to, you know, walk around just to get an idea of how long it takes before lung rot actually, you know, shows effects on the user. So now it is 5.18 and I now have been infected with lung rot. Right, and lung rot is a pretty dangerous um, thing, and it, it can go unnoticed for a very long time. Because you can see right now, I have no effects, but you can see I'm slowly losing health in the top right. I'm one out of five stages in lung rot, and my toxicity is consistently gaining. Now, a player will go to the medic and get treated with this, and the medic will give him Robitussin. But the problem with that is, is if the medic is not experienced enough, he won't know that you have to remove the salbutamol from the blood. And this is done through dialysis. So if they don't hook you up to dialysis, or if there's too many people with lung rot running around that need to be hooked up to the dialysis machine, the medic won't be able to do it. And you see right over here what we have going on is I had an oxygen issue. I'm coughing up um, my asthma now. And as it progresses, it just continually gets worse and worse. So currently, I'm at a 3 out of 5 for um, lung rot. So, you know, typically, we'll run to the medic. And look, I just coughed up a ton of my asthma. Now, this is the part I'm talking about with the epidemic. Eventually, if you infect enough people, they all go running around. And, you know, they walk into my asthma clouds. And it's just a matter of running around, just stabbing people with subutamol. Because subutamol will stay in their blood, right? And they will eventually infect themselves with lung rot. And it just spreads like wildfire, right? So alternatively, what you could do is just like, you know, position a bunch of corpses around. Or you can infect one person and just follow them around and infect people they come around, right? There's different um, ways to do this. You can see now I'm really struggling health-wise. Um, I have a 71 out of 7% uh, HP remaining. I'm on stage 4 out of 5 with lung rot. Um... Now, a player might go over here to a place like this right here, and he might be like, "Oh man, I'm really hurt, and let me let me grab some meds, and you know, he just take them." Because a lot of experienced players will see like, "Hey, I'm not doing too well," and try to fix themselves. And now I'm going into shock. You see, I've got stage five out of five of lung rot. I'm currently in shock. And this was just a matter of two minutes, almost three minutes now. We're coming up on uh, 7.50. So in a matter of three-ish minutes, I've gone from being perfectly fine to a critical state. Now I want you to imagine there's a room full of people and you just brought a monkey in there and you injected like four of them with Sabutamol. Well, they're not going to know what's going on. They're going to be running around. Maybe they're halfway across the map or one of them leaves the station to go exploring my, you know, asteroid field or something. They're going to die. Um, this is a pretty pretty serious infection, I would say, and creating an epidemic of it is a can cause a lot of problems for the um, the space station. If you know you are playing as an antagonist, like you get the medic with this or a couple of the medics, then it's a real problem because who's going to save the people? They're the only ones with access to the med you know medic machines, and you know some people aren't you know, smart enough to grab their card. Like there's a there's a genesis here. And let's see how long before he helps me. So he's just staring at me. He hasn't even ran out to save me yet. Keep in mind this is Goon 1 Classic. Some people won't even try to help you. <laughs> Open the door. I'm going to tell him. I can't tell him because I just collapse. I'm going to go ahead and tell him I have lung rot. And I want to see what he does about it. Right? He's probably going to put me in that machine right there and try to heal me, but that's not going to work. I have to be hooked up to a dialysis machine. He's probably going to give me Robitussin right now. 
He gave me charcoal. Um, okay. Let's see what he does. Is he experienced enough to save me from lung rot? It doesn't look so. It doesn't look like they're capable. Nope, they couldn't save me in time. So see, I died in a period of three, um, four minutes, five minutes, around that, um, from lung rot. And that, you know, like I said, infecting a whole station with this can really cause um, some issues. So keep that in mind. This has been um, Learning Dangerous Chemicals with Tooth. I hope that you uh, maybe utilize this in your next playthrough. It um, be really cool to see some people using some of my tactics. And I uh, hope you all have a good time. It's been nice playing with you. The Big Tooth out.